Hello, my name is Anthony Shivkumar, and in this video, we're going to talk about C directives, or C preprocessor directives. In my previous video of introduction to GCC, which you can see in this link on the top um, right, top left, we use the MCU Expresso IDE, which is a, um, a software uh, development environment to program LPC microcontrollers. And in there, we started to look at all of these debug statements that the compiler outputs or uh, the build process outputs while it's compiling and linking and creating the target file. And the goal of this particular video series is to explain or li literally unravel what those outputs are and what's happening under the hood. What is the compiler really doing? And in today's video, we're going to talk about these three types of uh, parameters that are in that you basically add when you compile using GCC. And here we have the D slash D option. And these D option is exactly what we're going to figure out in this video. So in order to get started, Say, for example, you have a source file and it's C code. Say you're writing a Kalman filter or a complementary filter, and you have multiple targets that you want that same code to be running on. But there are certain things that are very specific to the target. For example, say you want to run that same code on an Arduino, you want to run that same code, say maybe in a Raspberry Pi, maybe you want to run that same code on a new, you know, NVIDIA um, AI edge computing processor like the Tegra and X2 and stuff. The code pretty much is the same, but there's certain things that where you might want to access the hardware level and it's very different for that target. So how do you not write 10 different source files, rather have that one source file and make sure that the compiler is compiling based on the target it's compiling for. And that's what this particular uh, directive or this particular syntax can help you make sure that you're compiling for a specific target. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to do a simple ash include um, stdio.h stdh include and i'm just going to save this as say def um let's save this as a declaration or def.c okay and in here i'm going to say hash define hash define and here we're going to or hash uh, yeah hash define not hash define hash uh, def uh, if def say MCU and let's name this MCU say AI. Uh, we're going to initialize a variable say char a and it's going to be a pointer and we're going to say this code is compiled file for and a I, you know, um, let's say edge processor. Clearly, I'm not great at typing. And then we say if it's not defined, ash else else, um, we're just going to take this um, y, and we're just going to put this. This code is compiled is not compiled to run on any edge computer okay and then we basically say and if all right so that's the declaration so what we're trying to say is that this particular code is uh if it's compiled for an ai processor then execute the first line over here and if it's not compiled for an edge computer, do not run that code, run this particular piece of code. So how do we access that code, right? So I'm going to put an int main. I'm just going to put a return on zero. And here I'm just going to say printf percent s backslash n, and I'm going to print an a. All right. So this is a very simple program. But it means, but it's hey, but but there's a lot of things that are going on in here, and one of the things that helps you organize your code and compile it for different processors, this is how you basically do it. So what we're going to do is just do a GCC. We're going to put in all the warnings. It's just a good habit to do this. Um, now this is where the important factor is that slash d that you see over here, where in this particular case they are using the directive for say redlib, uh, enabling debug, 
code red, you know, use LPC Express uh, open, and then we want to basically compile for the core M3 processors and ARM core M3 Cortex processor. The same thing we're going to do over here, we're going to put slash D MCU, which is basically saying we're defining this for an MCU target. Um, or what did, we, what did we name it? I'll get back to that sh shortly. Uh, let's go over here and let me just check my def.c, mcu.ai. Okay, so it's mcu.ai, mcu underscore AI. So there's no space between the D, you just put the D and then you initialize the, the um, definition of where you want to compile it for. And we compile this and there's no errors. And now let's compile and now let's run this program. Oh wait, I forgot to put the output. To, um, I'm just going to put slash O and put like this, uh, just say, say, say def. And now let's, we put def and it says this code is compiled for an AI edge processor. So that's what this does. So you have to enable that piece of code at compile time. It has to be an option to the GCC compiler and saying, please define that MCU.AI is defined. So when you're, so, and this happens at the preprocessor stage. This happens before the code is being compiled. That's what we're doing over here. And if we don't put this, that means we're not defining this. So the pre-compiler will now choose, uh, will now select the second option. And then you'll realize that now when we run this program, it says this code is not compiled to run on an edge computer. That's because it's not defined. So whenever you have these hash defines, you define this while you're compiling. It'll be a compile option. And that's how we make sense of what's happening for this particular uh, code over here. And that's about, that's all there is for it today. If you want to keep it short and simple. If you like these videos, I highly recommend you subscribe to this channel. Uh, press that thumb like, you know, it really helps the channel. And until next time, thank you all.